All right, good morning. We're barely up, but we're here. Let's do it. Red Bandit. Okay. He required ransom. Your name's Greco, not Geico. Mm, I don't see it. Looking like Geico to me. I could be convinced though. Geico sounds like a pretty cool name. Oh, Kush TFT. Nice to have more TFTs in the chat. To go with Neil. Hello, Lolly. Good to see you here, buddy. Jobius, thanks for the 13 months. Greco, thanks for the 200 bits. I just need like a, sle a sleepy London game. E pawn instead of C, always. Always take. With the E pawn. That's just the London rule. You ever have to recapture on D4? He takes. It's kind of like in math when you have to use a. Like a formula to find the answer. You know, when you get real good at math, you can uh, dive into why you need to use that formula. But for the most part, just use the Dame formula. Get the answer. Just play you take D4. Just gonna throw in this first, of course. Is that anything? No, that's just me trolling. Maybe G4. Try G4, G5 here. E4 is the other kind of good looking move. Take. This move's uh, possible as well, but there's h6.
Knight b6, rook h4. Position should be quite uncomfortable for him. Thanks to 21 months, lol CB. Lol's cat. Thanks for the seven months. Welcome back. Buddies. Yeah, that was a little odd. You just literally hang every piece. <laughs> Got low on time and just like... Every piece is going overboard. Every single piece. Alright, who we got here? Ubitsia. Professor EXP, Triple Pong, Fish on Fish. Hey Tom. Buck81, Lerp, Andrew. Kian, five gifted. I'll take a, I'll take a five in the morning. Just past 11 a.m. I'll take, you know, a five gifted. I'll, I'll take that, thank you. Only got one in the bag so far. Still a long tournament. But I'll take a sleepy win. Hopefully it's a good uh, omen for the flames tonight, uh, Tom. Thanks, you bits, yeah? Look at that. A gifted sub. Morning gifted subs. Those mean a lot. Canadian Rock Fan, thanks to the Prime Resub 21 months. Oh yeah? Which part are you going to, uh... Kian? Holidays in Canada are... a good idea, especially if you've never been. There's only a few parts you should really bother visiting. Out West, Calgary, BC, Banff, that kind of stuff. Or at East, probably Montreal, Toronto. And then, it, you know, the Maritimes are nice. Way East Canada, but for most people's first time, not really, no. Hey, Gob. Thank you, Twink Time. I've never been to Whistler. No, probably will take a trip at some point, but never been. I want to go on more uh, like snowboard trips, ski snowboard.
Oh, you're doing it right then, Kian. That's a that's a solid Canadian trip. You're going all the right places. Hey, BJH. <laughs> the match was uh, match was great, eh? If anyone caught the uh, speed chess match yesterday from the IMSCC, Danny Wrench uh, won a thriller. Went all the way to Armageddon. Pretty sick. Armageddon. Hello to Omizi. All right. The Nimzo. Okay. This move wants to happen. So he's going to get his F5 in. The question is, how dangerous is this? Wow. Really? So crazy. Like, I guess it just works. What? 
Knight h5? He's just coming in hot here. Hot and heavy. He just missed this. I mean, so winning. So winning. I'm never gonna be able to defend this. But like, what, what? what is this opening? What the hell? Does this just work? Maybe I'm trolling with Rook here. I was gonna play F6, which looked really safe, but okay, I guess I thought I had a move, but I guess I don't. What he's doing doesn't, I don't believe in at all. I think it's bad, but Rook C8, I mean, I guess F6 is good. Blows my mind. I can take the thing every which way, but the pin and knight h5 is so strong. Maybe I should have done this as well. I had many moves, like, should take maybe and go here. But it's just easy to underestimate this pin, I guess. Yeah, because I have two pawns here. Black's probably doing the least okay. F6 was the move I was going to play instead of this. But somehow I didn't like queen b3 and like this, but that's just me not playing things in the right order because once you defend the knight, everything is okay. This knight even uh, comes to his aid. F5. Yeah, rook c8 is no good, but okay, f6 makes sense to me. Yeah, and here I should take on c1. I would expect to win a position like this. Yeah. In blitz or something, or at least have like a really good chance. When will Title Tuesday start? I wish it hadn't started yet. I just don't know what White's doing after F6. I mean, it's still a game, but I think we're up a clear pawn. Yeah, I don't know. You you can just really never play g6 here. It's like too depressing. Number one, you uh, lose material like that, but you're also likely to get mated even just like e5 or something. <laughs> I don't know. Pieces are just too bad here. But either either sack the rook and take, which didn't occur to me, or just play f6. But I was going to do f6 and thought, okay, I can do this move and then f6 because I've got my knight, queen, pawn here. But then he played f6 anyway, and I think it's probably strong. But it feels like a bit of a cheesy opening, like the opening doesn't seem very good. But it is good if you, uh, if you get to punch in this f6 move. So it's kind of like a coin flip, like, you know, if you get to play this f6, I get it. It looks pretty crushing for white. But if black plays uh, not like an asshole, maybe plays f6 themselves. 
or maybe take some sacks material, which I actually like better. Looks more fun. More, more logical, easy to play. Two pawns and, a, and some strong knights. I would take black here. I don't know who's playing no go. And I am not a GM tournament. Ugh. Thanks, elegant elephant. For 19 months, 15 months from Tommenheim and Motor Boater, 25 months. Oh, we're uh, our reading is going in the wrong direction. H5, bishop g5, and then castle. I'm trying to castle, maybe go f4. Okay. Losing a pawn? Man, this is really sleepy. This is a really sleepy performance. Looks like we are losing a pawn. Takes bishop f5. And it doesn't matter which one I take with pawn or bishop. Still go bishop f5. I mean.
think the only way is to try to win some endgame. Where we're down a pawn, but we have the better bishop. And sometimes you can win those, but realistically, you should be lost. Yeah, I mean, really did uh, probably the best we could do from that position. Like I said, <laughs> usually you lose these, sometimes you don't, but you're just down a pawn, so not much you can do. These are just uh, objectively lost. Um, yeah, the only other thing to try here, but it gives me no winning chances, is something where I like take here and play g5. But it's kind of difficult to arrange. Yeah, it's not that easy. Yeah, I can't. I can't take on d8. I'm gonna let uh, the bishop be taken. But I need two moves. Basically, I need to play like this, and then I also need to play this. But I'm not gonna get it in time. He's gonna play this, and then it's gonna go around and use this pawn as like decoy. But if I could take this and like also play this, then it would be a draw. And I would just sit here. This pawn doesn't matter, but I can't quite do that. Oh, wow. Next game already. I'm just looking forward to this break so I can leave and go make some coffee. I'm so tired. I'm just like blundering pawns in the opening. Ooh, okay. F4. 
I thought that was a GM from Norway. It's a CM. Scary stuff. CM. I don't feel like I'm supposed to trust this move. That looks a little sus. A6 next. Wow. Okay. This is not the end of the world. This one is bad. Wow, that was really smart. <laughs> that was really smart. That was a pretty simple answer. I guess we gotta take this pawn. Check. Mm, this doesn't really do anything though. Probably take a knight g4. Be nice if this worked. This should be four. I don't see it working. It's like close, but not quite.
It's lost anyway. <laughs> Should see two takes. It's like really simple. But I'm trying to get too creative here. Anyway, I'm just extremely tired. Um, Whip Brown, thanks for the four months. Ask in at 15 months. Banky, 10 months. I need to go make. Oh, I guess I'll make some coffee. I don't think anything's gonna change, but I'll be right back. <laughs> we have a break, right? Pretty sure. It's round four. So, uh, yeah.
Man, these breaks are really long. Jeez, I feel like I did uh, so much. <laughs> all the time weeding. I wonder if it's comparable. All the time weeding for games to start versus all the time playing in Title Tuesday. It's gotta be at least close. Eddie, thanks for the 44 months. People were asking if I rage quit. People? You mean you? Or who? Isn't there just a break? There's no chess. I said I think in round one that... Uh, well, usually in round four, I'll go make a coffee no matter what's happening. But, uh, I'm pretty tired. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie. This is such a long break. Does this not feel like ages? Like... I made a whole like five minute coffee, like I did some like dishes, I started dishwasher, like I don't know what it feels like, Flameburger. What the heck? What the heck? Thanks for the 14 months, Lukey. This is wild, man. These breaks are getting like 10 minutes long. For real. <laughs> My goodness. I'm actually like probably going to check when uh what time the game ended it's now 11 48 felt like a whole 10 minutes Go slow here. I think he wants to do that.
E5, I guess I think I'll take. Surprising. By the time you said that, Green Jaguar, I was probably uh, probably down 30 seconds. But the position, position speaks for itself. This guy is uh, a lot worse than, let's say, my pieces. I just want to play like Knight C3, Rook A1. Eventually we'll play this. Not in a particular rush, though. Okay, this, knight c3, do I try to push my pawn a5, h5 here, this is the question, I think not, let's just leave it, for now, knight b5, you can even go knight a7, knight c6, Um, do I want my knight on c6? That's what I'm wondering. Because maybe I don't. Knight on c6 can be a little artificial. I don't think he can take, but we'll find out. To me, like, uh, my king walks in, and it should be good, but... Trying to think how I want to put my pieces here. Like, do I go for H4 at some point here? Q4. 
Okay, how do I get there? Okay, now we got our king here. This is really all that matters. I've been trying to do this the whole game. Because now we can check him on um, a7. Just check him for a bit here. Kind of sucks that I had to take an h5, but I think taking an h5 and trying to get knight uh, over here is the only way to really try to win. Like, honestly, I was threatening nothing. To be 100% honest, I was threatening zero. But I would have tried to play bishop, bishop there, takes, knight takes, and he was shuffling his king like this. If he would put his king on c8, then it would be a lot easier this entire game. Like, if my king could just make it here, then I would go king a8, knight check, king b7, knight back, and then bishop to a5, and I would have three pieces attacking this, and he can only defend it with two. This guy can't. This guy and the king can't both be on that square. So, it could have been very easy if his king was on c8, but he was keeping his king in the corner, so should we draw? And then just, like, pretend like I'm doing something over here just to make him forget about it, and then I get king a7, and he has uh, this maneuver, knight g5, which looks really strong. So here, like obviously, I, I didn't have this calculated, but it's just kind of fortunate that we were able to make a queen as well. Don't know how smooth it was. Looked a bit suspicious. Especially letting him get a queen there. Karakon. Or is it going to be a Karakon? The, the mouse slip Karakon.
Whoa. I'll tell you right now, that's not the right move. There's no way. I really want to go here, make him play that and go back. Waste some move, but getting rid of the pressure here I think is kind of nice. He wants this, and then knight f3. Okay, pawn takes knight g5 looks a little sus. Could be a pawn takes angle, but I'm gonna go here. Hmm. I kind of want to go here next. Force this knight to do something. There's going to be a lot of end games that still aren't that bad for me. Like, hopefully, this one. <laughs> the pawns go on dark squares here. I try to keep the light squared bishops on the board, and I try to get a trade knight for bishop. He should never make that trade, but... Needs to go here. Bill Clap.
Been, been clapping for 69 months for you, buddy. Thank you so much for being here with Twitch Prime. 69 months. Thanks, Bill. Bro here. Thanks for the 300 bits as well. Data Cornelius, 8 month resub. You know, I've been told that the capitalization thing is fixed. I'm very, very excited to try that out. Maybe tonight. You know, when you start a game on chess.com, or like when I do, that you don't have to give correct capitalization. This is uh, the greatest news I've heard all day. Was there a fork on G4? Um, I don't think so. Don't think so. I had to take on h3 first, and then white played king e1, and then white played h6, so. And if you mean after h6, knight g4, then white's gonna take on, um, well, white's gonna play h7 and make a queen. Yeah, we'll do it tonight. You guys know uh, today is Eric's birthday. Well, those who don't know, this is... It's kind of like when someone reminds you about Mother's Day. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Eric's birthday. It's Father's Day. Just so you guys know. I think he'll, um, I think he'll stream the, the late title Tuesday. And, um, and then we'll do like a birthday stream tonight. And the Flames and Oilers will be playing. So we'll be streaming this evening. If you guys can join us. We need a, yep, a Flames, Flames win on Eric's birthday. Well, Title Tuesday starts 5 p.m. Eastern, and it goes for two hours. And then I think we have some chess TV after that uh, for a couple hours. And, and then I think when does the Flames game start tonight? Let me check. Is it a late one? Yeah, 9.30. So about 30 minutes after our chess TV ends, then the hockey game starts. So it's pretty well-timed. Yeah, the next title Tuesday starts in five hours. So I think the plan is uh, that he's going to try that one. I don't mind playing it as well. I mean, I'm like half asleep this, this one, but we'll be streaming for it. And then, um, yeah, Flames play in the evening of some... Uh, some chess TV time and we'll both be around. I am pretty coffeeed up. Yeah, more than halfway done. We are coffeeed up, but it's always too late once I'm coffeeed up. That's why we have the chess broad chat trickster. If anyone's worried that you're going over the hill, you're hitting a 30, you know, it's all downhill for you. Don't worry. Because everyone can still be in their prime in this channel using Twitch Prime. That's why we have people like Bill Clapp resubbing for 69 months. Bill could have Bill could have just, you know, gone over the edge and said, you know what? This is it for me. 69 months ago. The hairline wasn't there. Things weren't working out for him. 69 months later, Bill's still in his prime. That could be you too. Two more games and then another break. Man, it's really my favorite part of Title Tuesday, the breaks. It's not a good sign.
but I get I get noticeably excited when there's a break in Title Tuesday. Hey, party party, chicken pants. Um, yeah, it is. It was, uh, it was pretty fun. Here, c4, bishop back, b5, a3, we have time for e4, question mark. Maybe even to c2. Okay, here I'm going to have to take that from you. Bring this other knight to e2. Okay, let's bring that back. These trades, I would have thought, then she favor me. So knight c6 takes, I can throw this check in, I don't know how good that is. I can also leave it and just take back, bishop c5 forced, b4, bishop d6 more or less forced. Just feels good to play forcing things. I mean, it definitely feels like the right way to play. Okay, well, if he's giving me this, I gotta be pretty happy. Okay, e4. Where does this guy go? I'm wondering if I get e5. Queen b8. If he stops e5, then I don't love this move. Because then I have bishop g3 and he could check me again. Okay. Two, 
two bishops plus the dark square bishop, I would say should be decisive edge. Really? Wow. Okay. It's a little odd. Again, this happens a few times where I'm like, I feel like I have a pretty good uh, idea of how fast time runs out after flagging a lot. And uh, I don't think this should have been a flag. <laughs> okay, I guess it is. <laughs> I flag so much, I have a pretty good idea when uh, when I'm gonna flag. And I wasn't that concerned here. Maybe that's it. False sense of security or something. Losing the stream. Hey, it usually is. It usually is. Yeah, this one's like, I guess, unfortunate, but pretty surprising. Because, you know, when you're in a tense position and uh, you flag, okay, kind of deserve it. But position like this, wasn't really concerned. I'm just really surprised uh, by the flag because. I don't know, does it tell me? It doesn't seem to tell me how much time. There we go. 3.2, 2.0 to 0. Man, it's rough. No, there's definitely been no bullet titled Tuesday. Almost positive. I think the worst part is that we didn't get to play this position. It just would have been so enjoyable with the bishops and everything. One more game and then the break. Yay. 
These guys almost done. It looks like he's getting a meet. That's pretty impressive, honestly. Seen people get a win out of that. How is this game going so long? It must have shuffled for ages or something. <laughs> uh oh. I don't like the look of this. By the way, have you been playing white like every game? I mean, I keep losing, but it feels like I'm getting white every game. Wow, night back. Hmm. Guess we'll play for H4. Just night here. Or does this just not matter? We just go here anyway. A sleepy attack. Hey, Julian. The song command was never broken. We've just been listening on YouTube, which is literally what the command says. Song command has always been working. Just dig in here. Wow, bishop h5, what a move.
Wow. The worst part for black is the knight's not even developed, so the rook's not protected, so like this check just wins the game. So they can't even, I don't think she can even play this move. GG. And it's the break. And it's the break. Yay. Yeah, when I do H4, H5, you know, I just get crushed. When I watch someone else do H4, H5, they just check me. That's how it works. I was like calculating with the pawn sack. Well, I was calculating with what happened, <laughs> I guess. I mean, it's winning every which way. I'm up a piece, so this is basic enough. But um, Black's about to hide behind the pawn. So I'm just making sure that if I give up my pawn, I'm not like trolling and, you know, that my calculation works. But you know, this just forced me. And the only other option is to lose the whole queen, so I guess I was just double checking. Did I not play that quick enough for you, brah? I'm sleepy. I need to I need to double check my work. My work hasn't been very good today, so <laughs> I need to double check it now more than ever. Thank you, Matthew. As you can see, uh, myself and uh, I was leading the tournament with four out of four. They had nobody else with four points, so I, I had to be paired against the next highest rated person with three and a half points. And it was a WFM 2300. And I won, uh, I won, so now I maintain my perfect score to five out of five. Great start.
Just feed me 2300s, man. I can't, uh, I can't battle today. Like, I'm excited to have the break because I don't want to play chess, but then the break makes the chess last longer. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one I like. Whenever the break gets here, I complain about the break. Five out of five subs. Thank you, Chicken Pants. You see, if I uh, <laughs> if I had more points, Chicken Pants would be putting more in the collection plate. But with only five points right now, it's tough. Tough out here. Thank you, Chicken Pants. We get to is tonight. Yes, tonight we get to say goodbye to uh, Chicken Pants' team, the Dallas Mavericks. We get to say goodbye to his friend Luca with a nice 4 0 sweep incoming. I haven't seen many of the games, but I know there was one game where they had a significant lead. But um, yeah, can't complain. Western Conference Finals. Deeper 3, thanks for the gifted sub as well. On top of the 5 from Chicken Pants. Yeah, Golden State is, is pretty giga chat in the playoffs. Think about Title Tuesday, I think when you're in it, you can't uh, play another game, can you? Or can you? Let me see, maybe I have a staff account, maybe I have privileges. <laughs> You're not seeing me in the title Tuesday result page. Yeah, I wonder why that is. <laughs> I wonder why that is. You're really going to have to work that uh, middle finger on the scroll wheel. Probably 20 or 30 good, good hard scrolls and I think you'll find me. I'm somewhere in there. How do you scroll? There's no way I'm the weird one here. Doesn't everyone scroll with their middle finger? There's, there's no way that's not the case. Index finger? How could you possibly scroll your index finger? That makes no sense. What? But then how do you click the mouse? You guys make no sense. You scroll with your index finger and you click with your index finger? How stupid are you guys? <laughs> what? That makes no sense. <laughs> what? There's no way you guys are serious right now. When you put your hand on the mouse, the middle finger literally sits on the scroll wheel. Right? Even if you're saying you use your index to scroll, doesn't your middle finger sit on the scroll wheel? Like, it rests on it? Your middle finger's on right click! No, but when you naturally put your hand on the mouse, 
it rests on the scroll wheel. The middle finger right clicks and scrolls because right click and scroll are secondary and tertiary functions for using a, a mouse. The main function is left click. So use your index to left click. And then your middle finger oscillates between how in the, oh my goodness, it's a one minute game. Okay. I was gonna say, how are these guys putting me title Tuesday against the 3000? I suck. No, okay, it's bullet, it's bullet. Oof. Oof. Got a little scared there. I mean, I'm not saying I'm thrilled about this, but. Uh oh, this is a bad timing. You're telling me the break ends now? Now that I get my game, I'm being trolled. No, no. Wait, how do I even switch my game? I'm on play, so it's got this weird like uh, non-switch. I'm being trolled hard. Why is it flipping back? No, it flips back every time. I can't, it's unplayable. How, how fucking stupid is this? How stupid is this? It flips back every single time. I don't want to play that game. Ah! Ah, this is a literal cancer. There's no way! I'm just like, this is like a hard mode. I'm literally clicking like 50 times. I'm playing like so many games at once. There's no way. Oh my goodness. That has, that's amazing. Look at what I just did. No, no, you, you guys don't know what I just had to deal with. I had to, I had to click the game at the auto switches back to my other game. That was it, ridiculous. My eyes hurt, my brain hurts. Completely insane that a game will, will auto switch back. I don't understand how, how that could be a thing. I don't want to play my blitz game when I'm flagging my bullet game. Surely it has to prioritize the one that has lower time. That only makes sense. I mean, come out. Wish I'd played this. Oh my god, my eyes hurt. Takes, takes. Now I have like 30 seconds in this game all of a sudden. Oh my goodness, help me. Actually, I guess there's 96 here. I mean, what am I doing? Maybe I have to take here. 
I'm trolling them. Nah, you won't see that. It's too advanced. Too advanced, surely. Okay, spoke it into existence. Um, uh, I think we have to do something like Queen Seven here. I mean, that's unplayable. <laughs> well. We won the game that, or sorry, we didn't lose the game that mattered, so. Okay. Just gonna take. I hope he does. Can't speak that one into existence. Definitely did not see that. That's a check. They rip us. It just has a check, so like I have to take this way, but. Dude, these games are disturbing. He wants to keep playing. He wants to keep playing. Yay. I can't tell if he wants to keep playing. I don't think so. I think he just couldn't find me. Now, now I'm thinking he missed this. Ripwalk, thanks for the 41 months. Dude, that actually gave me like... What's the word? What's the one they have in music videos? Not just like a seizure, but like... They have the warnings for it on like uh, music, like I think uh, music videos on YouTube. The flashing lights. Epilepsy. Yeah, there we go. Epilepsy. That's the word I'm looking for. That was just insane what that was. So the, the game with lower time. So I'm in like a time scramble, like two seconds, and it'll auto tab back to this game. <laughs> Insane. Don't even know what was going on. And you know the sad part? It's a free win. It's a free win. This guy is obviously so slow. If I can pretty much flag him like this, he's so slow. It's such a free win. It's just sad. It's taking me 0.4 seconds per move or more. Ugh. Those were free points we missed out on. Yes, I know Val, but it was already on. And the game was on. 
I was trapped. Like being in a time scramble with uh whatchamacallit? Auto Queen off. Or maybe on, depending on what you need. I was stuck in there. But I don't know why auto switch would still not prioritize the lowest amount of time that you have. Like if you switch me to a game and I'm not moving in in it intentionally, don't keep switching me to it. I'm clearly not trying to move. Oh, this one looks over, over. Okay, why are these guys both playing Queen and Knight? Wow, what a dirty move! What a dirty move! Oh my goodness. What an unbelievable move. That's insane. I would never even, like, just think of this stuff. Wait, is this Rob from Ram Ranch? Hello? Rob Ram. Rob the Ram. My boy is from the ranch. Castle, B3, I guess. I mean, it's only a matter of time before he plays F5. It's like the only active thing he can do. Rob from the Ram. The Ram Ranch game. It's an important one to win. He has more points than me, dude. He has more points than me. I guess we go back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with the knight up my ass here on D4.
Mm, knight on d4. I just hate these plans that are so simple to execute. Strange behavior. Now I'm I'm gonna take his knight before I take this. So I don't have to deal with a knight on d4. Get the king out of the way. An awkward fork. Check. Huge, cuz massive KO. Huge. Huge round 10 performance. Wait, these are like from the old round. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, it's just like not updating. Let's get a refresh. What the hell? What's going on here? Where's the title Tuesday? What the fuck? What the? There's no tournaments? What the? Fuck? What's happening here? Hello? Okay, now they're here. How do you see the ongoing ones? Oh, I can see the ongoing ones. It's just not there? No, this is starts in. What the? Hmm. 
I'm very confused. So, this is tournaments. But how do you know if it's ongoing or not? All of these are starts in. Where do you see the ongoing ones? Whoa, tournament directory. What is this? Am I, am I missing something? Observe. Aha. Observe. Okay. As a user, I don't think I ever would have guessed that. So, ah, uh, here we go. We found the tournament again. That took a long time. Okay. Observe. There we go. We got it eventually. Mm. Oh man, not the index finger scrolling. We got derailed because my bullet game started. It's, it's got to be a middle, middle finger angle. Okay, the last game of the tournament. With a draw, we can secure 50% score. Andy Robots, thanks for the four months. Yeah, the Kings of New England was fun. I had a good time doing that. Really? Really? No, I don't buy this. I don't buy this for a second. This looks like a good move. G5 and E5 objectively wins a pawn. Or as I can see. Maybe not, yeah, knight D6. That's a little bit too much. I'll play what I thought was best. Queen here, and a6 next, then we take this pawn. Yeah. Knight takes. Okay, here. But what is this? Bro. What is this?
Uh... Here he's probably going to go there. Trying to get to f5. I can play g6, but. Uh, that's a hundred percent what he's gonna play. I find it very annoying, honestly. Yeah, but now I want it to go here. Ridiculous, like just getting flagged. Ugh. Just getting flagged. Sucks. But we were we were up, but just not up clean enough. D5 I was gonna play, but somehow I thought my pawn was hanging. Only reason I didn't do it. D5 is obviously a fantastic move, but I thought I was hanging this pawn. Didn't didn't notice this. But yeah, normally you just play D5 here. Okay. But anyway. It was that kind of tournament. Um, yeah, like I said, it's Eric's birthday today. He's gonna be probably streaming the late title Tuesday, and I guess the Flames play the Oilers again, so it's kind of good timing. Um, and that starts in what four hours next title Tuesday. I'm tired and I'm not playing well, so I'll see you guys this evening. We have 5 p.m. Eastern title Tuesday for two hours, then we have Chess TV for two hours, and then we'll do um, some birthday stuff. Eric. Go Eric. But I gave you guys the heads up that it's his birthday. So now when he streams later you can wish him happy birthday. See you guys then. Let's get out of here. I hate this tournament. Not as much as I hate Arena Kings. Eric Rosen's playing a match right now. Let's read chess.com. They asked me to commentate it but I said no. I'd rather play my favorite tournament in the world Title Tuesday. So I did. <laughs> Had a great time here. Literally lost 100 points. Okay, maybe not that much. I lost a little bit of that the other night, but probably about 70 points. See you guys in about four hours. We're going to uh, have a stream tonight for Eric's birthday, so hopefully see you then. Bye.